Are you ready to take the challenge? Yes. This is the challenge for you. If you are able to solve the question, then clap for yourself and just stop the video because yes, your concept of static and local variable is clear. If you are not getting it because here concept is required, what is happening in static variable and here what is happening in local variable. This video is on this topic. Here I will clear your concept then you will understand what is happening here. So please watch the video till the end and definitely subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to get all latest update notification and to be connected with me to learn the computer science in basic to advanced level with question and proper explanation. And definitely install our Unify study app from play store to get the free courses, free mock tests, free study material. Check it now, download it now. You are installing so many app in your mobile, but you install it, then you will understand that what are available for you. Now see, here main difference, I am coming to the main difference. The initialization and the value persistence. Local variable initialization will be reinitialized in each call. Static variable initialized in only one. I will take the example with that you will understand. Here what is happening? See the example here. This is a static variable and this is normal variable. Whenever you are calling for the first time, this my function is calling here for the first time. This is the initialization statement and this is also initialization statement. First time initialization will be done count equals to 0 and for the normal variable, also initialization will be done that is 0. Now after that it is count plus plus means it will be updated to 1. Normal variable it will be updated to 1. So here you are getting output 1 and 1. So that's why after the first call you are getting output. Count variable is also 1. Normal variable is also 1. Next time whenever you are calling it. This one will not execute but this one will execute why this is called the reinitialization initialization only one for static variable and reinitialization will be happen every time the this line wherever you are declaring static int means here the initialization is happening count equals to zero this will not the value will persist retain between the call that is persistence means whatever you have updated previous value that value will be there for the static variable but for the normal variable the value will lost the normal variable this initialization will be again so normal variable is again zero because it is again initializing but for the static variable it was one what is happening count is now two this is updated to 2 and it is again 1. So that's why now it is 2 and 1. That's why after second call you are getting here 2 and 1. Third call, whenever you are calling for the third time, what is happening? Again, this line will not execute because this is initialization. This line will execute because it is local variable. So that's why again it is 0. Again, the count variable will be count plus plus means last value was 2. 2 is updated to 3 and this one again 0 is a 1. So, that's why it is 3 and 1. So, you are getting here 3 and 1. So, I hope it is very clear to you. Now, you are getting interest to solve the question. Yes, come to the question. Ek bar like the banta hai and comment kar do. Yes, I understand it. Now, tell me it is easy. Quickly tell me what will be the answer. Very easy, super easy, right? Yes, definitely answer is output is 1 and 1 because here function call you are doing and it is normal variable only, right? What is the answer for this one then? Think and tell me. I am coming in one minute. Someone is calling, just one minute.
yes i came back so here your answer is 1 and 2 because the t is static first time it is initialization is done but next time it will not call now you will be telling me this one what is happening here yes think and think 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 yes you are correct answer is 1 and 1 why because this is the local variable static variable for function 1 this is static variable for function 2 you are calling function 1 then you are getting 1 here you are calling function 2 then also you are getting 1 here because this count is the variable for this function and this count is the variable for this function they are not same they are not same the scope of this count is within this function 2 the scope of this count is within this function 1 although name is same but the scope is different that's why here you are getting 1 and 1 be careful about that although name is same it is within different function if again you are calling function 1 then it will be like 1 will be updated to 2 got it now come to this question ultimate question what i ask you what will be the answer for this one now take your time pause the video and think it what will be the answer think think you can you can do yes yes your answer is option c why why it is happening see that here first time you are you are doing this right you are coming from the main in the main i am doing static integer a equals to 1 so initialization will be only one time so a is 1 print function means you are calling this function now in this function there is another static integer a this is initialization as 2 so a is 2 here now this is a local variable b equals to 1 so b equals to 1 here now what you are doing here this line is very important line what is going on here see that a equals to a plus 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 b it is a pre-increment the meaning of this plus equals to means plus equals to means that a equals to a plus then plus plus b so pre increment means you have to increment the b value that's why the b value is updated to 2 so it will be updated to 2 then plus you have to solve from this way then a value is 2 so 2 plus 2 it is 4 so now a value is updated to 4 right so a value updated to 4 a value is 4 and what about b b is 2 itself b is not updated just it is incremented you did not b equals to plus plus b then b will update here b itself not updated only here you did the increment operation so that's why b value is incremented here right b value is incremented here to 2 where it is incremented it is working same you are thinking that i am doing b plus plus here means b is not updated no it is incremented and b value is also updated that's why b value is 2 here and a value updated to 4 so first time you are getting answer 4 and 2 so see that you can eliminate this option is eliminated this option is eliminated here also 4 and 2 here also 4 and 2 either this one or this one now do the next step then your answer will come now you call from here so next line next line is a plus 1 means what a equals to a plus 1 which a this is this a because you are in here in this a that is this a a value was 1 so it is 1 plus 1 that is 2 now now again you are calling print function so again i am in this function what is happening here the last value this one will not execute because this initialization is already done it will not execute the last value of a was 4 here right but this line will execute again so b value will be again 1 this value is now lost a b value is 1 again now now again you are doing this operation how it will done now this operation will be like this you are doing a equals to a plus so here 
plus plus b means again same thing that plus plus 1 means it will be 2 2 plus a value is what now a value is 4 so 4 plus 2 that is 6 now a value is updated to 6 and b value is 2 so that's why it is 6 and 2 so you are getting here 6 and 2 so definitely this is not your answer already you are eliminating now now I am telling that last one also why not so this is done here you got 6 and 2 after that finally you are printing here percent D percent D A B which A that is this A this A is updated to 2 this A that is this A and which B which B it is it is actually the global B here another global B was there it will not take here inside this there is no B here is a global B. This B is there. This B, A, B, C initialized to 0. This global B is printing here 0. That's why here 2 and 0. That's why ultimate answer is 4, 2, then 6, 2, then 2 and 0. So from this question, your local, global and static, all these concepts are clear. Those who are watching till now, I hope you are feeling happy. I am always feeling happy to explain you the concept from basic to advanced level and those who are watching me you are able to understand that how much clearance you are getting here so at least give me feedback your comment is motivating me to upload good videos to upload the conceptual videos because all the YouTube is growing on with clickbait and craze I don't like that and really I don't want to do those things so please motivate me to motivate you and to give you good content. Thank you. Be with me. Stay tuned. Share this video to all of your friends. So that at least I can get good subscribers. Those who actually want to learn like you. Thank you. Bye.